Now, if you're someone who struggles with a steep shaft in transition, just like this, no matter how hard you try, you can't get to shallow the club like this here. Well, I'm gonna tell you in this video how a top of the backswing position can massively increase your chance to shallow that golf club and make it more effortless and a little bit more automatically shallowing the golf club without really thinking that much at all. So let's get into it. Let's talk about how we're gonna do this and how we're gonna get into this top of the backswing position to do this movement. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So just like we said in the intro there, your top of the backswing position will have a huge influence on how your club shaft moves in the first move in the downswing. So what I see with guys who really, really struggle with shallowing that golf club in transition is they'll be at the top of their backswing with a slight across the line shaft. Now, a slight across the line shaft is fine. You can make that work, but for the vast majority of golfers, it makes shallowing the golf club very, very difficult. And why that is, because one, a lot of golfers have a shorter backswing too. And two, you can see with that across the line shaft, how much movement does that shaft need to cover in a short space of time to shallow the golf club? Because as we know, shallowing the golf club is getting the center of mass of the shaft pitching behind your body so you can turn and rotate freely through the golf ball. So if we're at a position here where that center of mass of the shaft is almost over on top of my body, to get it to do this in a split second is ridiculously difficult. I'd have to do every shallow move in the book. I'd have to get my right arm in front of me. I would have to roll my left forearm. I would have to maybe even slightly flex my left wrist. How many movements is that in that short space of time? Loads, <laughs> way more than you'll possibly be able to do. So what we see golfers do, they might try to do it a little bit, but there's just generally not enough time to get that movement to happen. So their shaft will just move a little bit steep in there. I see that all the time. Players will really get fed up with not being able to shadow the shaft. It's because their back top of the backswing is not in the right place. So to make shallowing a little bit more automatic, we'll need to do a little bit more of this. So I'm gonna hit a shot and we're gonna have a little look at it here. So you can see here, what I did at the top of the backswing there, I had a little bit of a laid off shaft there. Now, when I have a little bit of a laid off shaft, what I'm gonna to have to do from there to shallow the golf club is pretty much nothing. I'm not really gonna to have to do too much at all. I don't have to worry too much about my right arm getting in front of me. I need to do that a little bit, of course. Don't have to worry about my left wrist rolling. Don't have to worry too much about my left wrist flexing all too much because that shaft and that center of mass at the top of the backswing is pretty much almost behind me. It's almost already shallow. So it's kind of like pre-shallowed to some extent. So I don't have to do too much at all now for that club to fall and shallow. Even just doing a little back and forth there of my shallowing move, I barely did anything at all for it to shallow. Just because of where it was at the top of the backswing, it just naturally got there. It just naturally shallowed out. Now, I'm not talking about being like this, you know, ultra laid off, because then your shaft will stand up again. We need to be a little bit laid off there to give us less work to do. I'm always a big fan of less, more, you know, the less work, the better for the golf swing. We don't want to be having so many variables to be able to control in the golf swing, because if we can reduce the amount of variables we do to be able to get that club to shallow, we're going to have better rotation through the golf ball. We're going to have a better, more consistent shot pattern. So, but absolutely, you can get up to the top of the backswing with an across the line shaft and shallow it. It's just very hard to do. Matthew Wolf is proof that you can do it. You absolutely can. But for vast majority of golfers, I prefer a little bit of a laid off shaft just because it makes it a little bit easier to do for most of you out there. So the reason I see a lot of golfers not getting in this tiny bit of a laid off position here is because of their trail elbow again. I will see their trail elbow get quite a bit disconnected from their body at the top of the backswing. And you can see as soon as I do that, the shaft pitch changes. You can also see as I do that, forces my left wrist to cup as well. When that trail arm pushes away, it pushes against my left wrist, which forces it into some extension, which will aid you to steepen the shaft, not what we want. So to be able to do this correctly, the first thing I want and the most important thing I want for you to do to get this right arm being a little bit more connected to your body there. Because if I can get that right arm a little bit more connected, you can see that shaft is gonna get a little bit more laid off there. Of course, I can still get it across the line if I you know, extend my left wrist, or maybe if I roll my forearm in the other direction, I could still get it a little bit laid off, but I'm giving myself the best chance to get that laid off shaft if my right arm stays a little bit more connected to my side there. And then it doesn't have to do too much at all to get back in front of me because it's already there 
and then boom, shallow that golf club. So two drills I'm gonna give you guys to do here to be able to do this. First one, all you need, you need a glove. That's all you need. So you might take your glove off, you might have a spare one here, because again, we want that trail arm to be more connected to our side. That's gonna give us that little bit of a laid off shaft, make shallowing easier. So all we do, glove underneath the trail arm. We need to keep it there the entire time. If we can keep that glove underneath our trail arm the entire time, we're gonna be keeping the trail arm more connected and we're gonna be keeping it in front of our body in the downswing as well. At any point, if I disconnect, it's gonna fall and it's gonna drop down towards the ground, whether that's backswing or downswing. So hitting some shots here, keeping this nicely underneath the trail arm here, hitting some shots and you're gonna be having a much better shaft angle and better shaft movement in the downswing. Now there's a good little trick to that drill as well, because obviously with that, you can't do that on the golf course, can you? Because it's a, it's a drill, it's something that you're physically putting there. It's a training aid to some extent against the rules. So what you can do, you can grab a little bit of a, a shirt here. So my hoodie, for example, I can tuck it underneath my trail arm like this. Now I still have the sensation that I've got that glove underneath my arm here. So I still feel like I have to keep that right arm nice and connected there. So me just keeping that shirt or hoodie in my case, tucked underneath my trail arm, I'm going to be in that position and I keep it there that I want to be in again. The last drill before we wrap it up here guys is one with a ball training aid. Now, you know, if you watch a lot of my videos, I do a lot of drills with ball training aids here because they're really, really good in so many areas. And for our swing problem here in getting ourselves a little bit more of a laid off shaft to make the shallowing move easier, these are absolutely perfect because with me just trying to keep this ball training aid in between my arms here, that forces my right arm to be a little bit more connected to my side because it forces my arms a little bit closer to each other to keep the ball in my arms. Because when we see someone get a little bit disconnected with their arm, their trail arm there, they will also increase the gap in between their two arms going there. So just with the simple act here, or keeping it in between the arms, it keeps the gap between the arms shorter, which will by nature keep the right arm more in front of the body. So it will help with backswing, with the more laid off shaft, slightly laid off. And then it will help in the downswing, with keeping the right arm in front, aiding a shallowing move as well. Brilliant training aid, brilliant one to work with. So there we go, that is a way you can get up to the top of the backswing with that slightly laid off shaft that will help you shallow the golf club. Just in the simplest terms, you'll have far less to do to be able to shallow that golf club. A lot of you, as soon as you get that slightly laid off shaft, you'll start to shallow it. It will really become that much easier of a thing to do for you. So no more really struggling with it. Even if you still struggle a little bit, you don't have to do too much to get that club to go in front of you. Now again, you can have a down the line shaft, you can have an across the line shaft. You just have to make sure you're someone who really can do those shallower movements quite efficiently. Of course, anyone can train to do that, but it'll take a really, really long time if it is quite hard for you from the get go. So this is the way I do it personally, makes it easier. So when we're making a golf swing and those big chunky movements easier, we can play a little bit more consistent golf out there. So if you like this video guys, of course, click that like button. And if you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button hit the bell button too to be notified every single time. So get working on this and you'll shallow that shaft.